Hey, chatters, continuing along our obsidian path, we've gotten the basics done. Now we need to start solving the problem of how do we effectively fill our vault so that it will actually help facilitate our curiosity and our ability to leverage this technology, particularly around querying with this large language model that you have hooked up into it. I've done a video on this before, but I think it's worth going through again, especially because I've made some updates. The first thing we want to do is think through how are we doing research and putting that research in a format that is not only easy to collect, but is optimized for Obsidian. So thinking about tags, backlinks, all that kind of stuff. So Miss Nura is Synaptic Labs' research assistant. We do a lot of blogs with her, and now it's thinking about how do we create these more uh, wiki articles with her. So I'll go through the prompt quickly. As always, I'll make this public. You can use Miss Nora or just take the prompt here and make it your own. But pretty much we're doing web research. We want to do markdown, wiki link to optimize for Obsidian. We want accurate citations, well-structured information, reason step-by-step step for the best course of action to achieve a compelling and informative wiki on the topic of my choice. You have access to Bing. And we're just going to do a web research on the topic, gather all the information from reputable sources, create an outline first just to make sure this is actually what I want, and then write the blog in a code block so that'll be easy to copy and paste. Rules are rules, not too important. Format, though, is important. This is something you might want to change based on whatever you might be doing and how you want things structured, but I have it a blog name, the subsection names with detailed and comprehensive content. Remind it again that keywords, concepts, people, events, we put them in square brackets to create those backlinks. And then I like to have a critique as well, just to provide that other opinion. And then our citations at the end and tags at the very end. So there's probably a lot of better ways you could do this, but this is how I have it, at least for now, I'm still in the experimental phase. But let's look about, let's look at this and what it looks like. We really want to be turning you into someone driven by curiosity and make it as easy for you to get the information you want and put it somewhere where you can access it easily. So Miss Nora is really supposed to be that curiosity agent for you to help you fill in those knowledge holes that you want. So we keep it super simple. I can literally say Japanese myths. And it's going to say it, it doesn't show it, but it went online and it searched a bunch of this stuff. And it has the headings, what it's going to put in there. And then at the end, it says, please confirm that this is cool. I just say write it up, or you can say anything, put it in the markdown, whatever it is. And here we go. We have our markdown article, which is in this code block. Again, this just makes it super easy to just copy code right here. And then we can go to our Obsidian, and you just copy and paste it in here, and you'll see we have all the backlinks, we have our citations, and we have tags. Now, the best part about this is you want to always start at the topmost level, so just Japanese mythology, and then you want to start going deeper and deeper into what you're doing based on these backlinks. You'll see here I continued the conversation and I wanted to know more about Kujiki, Nihon Shoki, and Shintoshu. So let's go back to the conversation. And I looked up and I just said Koji, and it knows it's already gone a little bit off track here. But that's fine because it's already done the research. So it's just giving me like, okay, this is more or less what it was. So then I say write it up again. And here we have our next article. And we keep going down the list. And so I was interested, you know, list the major stories. And so I just wanted to get all the stories here. I was like, okay, now Shidoshu. We got that. And you just keep going deeper and deeper. So... We say the tale of Izanagi and Izanami. Here we go. And on and on and on. And the point here is you just keep following your interests and what you want to learn more about. And you just open up this article. Now we're actually 
like this. The Legend of Amaterasu. We can bring up Miss Nora, and I'll just say Legend of Amaterasu. Now, as is writing, just want to say one of my favorite games is Okami, which follows the the deity Amaterasu through ending the reign of Orochi, the eight-headed serpent god. Okay, so now we can just copy this, come here, paste it, and bam, there you go. And again, we can just keep going deeper and deeper so that you have what you're looking for. So this was a quick one, but I just wanted to, the point is we're going to start building the plumbing for getting all information funneling into Obsidian so it's easier to work with in Query and you can start building your fun knowledge graph. Start doing research. Start. This is just a quick way to start filling things again, just based on your interests. Do what you're interested in, what's intrinsically motivating, and start filling up your vault because, again, the more you have in here, the more useful it's actually going to be. So thank you, chatters, for listening, and have fun with Miss Nick.